you've got any experience with creating websites with WordPress, then a nice little side hustle for you might be to create websites for local businesses. Now, of course, you don't want to spend too much time creating these websites. That's going to, that's going to be a pain. You want to create these websites as quickly and as efficiently as you possibly can. And this is where AI comes in. So I found a fantastic tool. It's called ZipWP. I'll put a link up now and a link in the description. It is an affiliate link. Thanks very much if you use it. And ZipWP is a really cool little platform. It allows you to create websites using AI in a staging environment. And then when you're ready, you can easily migrate them onto some real hosting. For this example, we're going to create a website for an imaginary building company called Eagle Builders. I've created a logo already in Canva. There it is. What do you think? Not bad, huh? And yeah, we're going to take that logo and we're going to use it with the AI tool to create a full website for this imaginary building company in, well, just a few minutes, hopefully. Let's jump on the computer and let's give it a go. So here's what I'm going to be using. It's Zip WP. Again, you'll find a link in the description. Really appreciate it if you use my link. Now, you can try it out for free. Let's have a quick look at the pricing. Should just here. They have a free uh, plan. The only problem with it is that sites expire within 24 hours. So it's great for you to play around with. If you're super quick, um, you can uh, use it and generate a site and get it out of there. Um, but yeah, nothing's permanent. They do have this uh, business plan, which is three nine nine for the year, but they also have some other pricing plans. And if we go in here, they've got a personal one for nine a month and a pro one for nineteen a month. Really depends on how many sites you want to create and how many sites you want to keep on the platform. I've got the personal plan right now, so let me log in and show you what it looks like in the back. Okay, we're in. Nice clean interface. And well, let's create a site for my imaginary building company, Eagle Builders. So I'm going to go to create new. Now you can create a blank website, which is quite handy if you just want to mess around with some WordPress stuff. I use it all the time when I'm testing out plugins and themes. But for this, we're going to use complete website. So uh, let's start. So the first question is we need to give it a name and it's of course Eagle Builders. This website is for a local uh, business. There we go. And it will be in English. Let's click continue. Right now we need to describe the, uh, what it's going to be about, right? Basically describe Eagle Builders. So, uh, a local, um, building firm in London that are family run. Um, we offer a range of so I'm making this up, obviously, services including brick laying, um, extensions, loft conversion. What else do builders do? Uh, roofing and much more. Okay. Been established for 25 years and have many happy clients okay let's see if we can improve this with ai by clicking on this button so that might expand it a little bit i'd imagine that when you are going to build a website for a client or maybe even for yourself you'll have a lot of this information to hand anyway okay that looks better okay let's click continue obviously the better this is the better your website will be but let's, let's carry on anyway, just for this example. Okay, now we need to fill in this form. So how do people get in touch with this email address? Eagle at Eagle Builders. This is obviously not a real email address. Then phone number, just some numbers. The address is some street, um, some place, London. There we go. And you can add links to social media as well if you like. So let me just do that for this example. So it'd be uh, facebook.com slash eagle builders. Don't know if it's going to like this actually. Let's see what it says. Yeah, that's okay. Maybe Instagram too. Okay, I think that'll do for this example. Let's go to continue. Now it's going to ask um, for some images. Now, of course, you can use any of these stock 
um, images or you can upload your own if you have them. I guess you're going to have them. You're going to want to use real images on a client website. But for this example, let's use some of these interesting looking uh, images. That's bricklaying. What have we got for loft conversions? These are not relevant. Let me just put in some other words like um, construction. Just for this example, that looks good. This looks good. Um, what else have we got? These are some heavy duty um, images. It doesn't really matter for this example, to be fair, because it's just going to use these to lay out the pages. That's okay. That's okay. What else have we got? Uh, construction worker. Yeah, this one, this one. This is nice. I'm going to select as many as I possibly can. Just see what we get. Okay, I think that will do. How many have we got? 16 selected. Let's click continue. But yeah, as I say, use your own images on this, this part. Next up, we've got uh, design. So here we can decide the kind of layout and the look and feel that we want to go for. Ooh, they all look quite nice. That's nice. Oh, decisions, decisions. I think I'm going to go for, I like this one with the, the bit popping up here. I mean, but it really depends on the kind of um, elements that you want. Let's go for option seven. It's now asking for the logo up here. So let's upload that. I've got it to hand here. There it is. We can change the different fonts depending on the kind of style you like. I like that one, but you know, whatever you like, you can't beat a bit of poppins. Got the color palette. Purple's quite nice, blue, green. Ooh, a bit dark, that one. I think we'll go for a lighter one. Sort of brownie building kind of color. I don't want to show the title, actually. Let's get rid of that. But let's increase this width a bit, make that a bit fatter. And yeah, it's coming together quite nicely. So let's click continue. Now we've got some extra features that we can add if we like. So you can have a video player, you can I have sales funnel, live chat, whatever you like. I'm going to leave these off for now, but maybe you want to add them. I guess with the video player, you might want that. We could just embed YouTube anyway. Let's click start building and let's see what happens. It's just confirming everything. Let's go. So the AI is now doing its thing. It's building the website. Now, of course, we can customize anything that we like after it's been created, which of course we're going to need to do. We're going to want to add probably some of our own copy at the very least. Okay, it says that it's ready. So it's given me the URL, it's given me a username and password. Uh, we can go and take a look if we click on the URL. There we go. I mean, that image hasn't quite worked at the top that needs adjusting. Um, these look quite nice. Of course, if I'd have uploaded my own images, it might have worked a little bit better. Uh, I've got the project gallery here. Again, you'd upload your own there. We've got some lovely testimonials here. Uh, why choose us? It's a great starting point. Don't you think it's a great starting point uh, for a new website? So let's just close this tab. And then if we want to log in, we can just click on customize website. Obviously, we'd make a note of this or you can just copy it to your clipboard like that. Click on customize website. And then that takes us into WordPress so that we can start playing around and making the changes that we need to. The tool installs the Astra theme and the Spectra page builder, which are both very good. Astra theme is very, very popular and very good. Spectra I've been using for a little while now and I really like it. So let me just show you how you make some changes. You'd come in and then just do your WordPress thing. Click on edit page and then we can click on these elements. So we want to switch out this, uh, this strange image or at least um, adjust the, the focus. Put that up there. That's a little better, I guess. 
although it's not it's not really the image we want let's see what else we got is it put some more in the media library uh probably something more abstract like this would work better yeah there we go get a bit of focus like that so yeah you just go through you click on things you can change stuff you can change images it's all really straightforward if you've used wordpress before you'll be fine and if you've used um any kind of page builder again you'll be fine but Spectra is really easy to use. You just click on things and it uses the default block editor uh, system. So very familiar if you've used that. Well, that was pretty quick. I think we did that in around eight minutes, 10 minutes, something like that. And we've, uh, you know, another half an hour, hour on this, just changing over the content, maybe adding a few extra pages would probably be, be about done. So let's have one final look. Did that save? There we go. We can have a look at our services page. There's the services that we added. Of course, you might or probably would be a good idea to create um, specific pages around then. Of course, if we go to new page, we can simply add a new page. Now, of course, we're going to want this page to look the same as the others. So if we go into the design library, we've got all of these elements that we can drop in and piece together to make a lovely page. We can go in here and check out the full pages. Let me just skip this. And, you know, we can drop in whatever kind of page we like and make some edits that way. Uh, kits, you're not going to want to go in there because they don't look like our wonderful website. But say um, we want a services kind of page. So it's going to be all about um, whatever it is, bricklaying. Something like this would probably be fine. You pop that straight in, you know, you'd say uh, brick laying. Go through and you'd update this, add some images, add your work. It's really easy. So you'll have a full website up and running in no time that you can charge some good money for. <laughs> and uh, it's a great little side hustle. So, yeah, there we go. Easy, simple. And I think it's a great use of AI. So there we go. Pretty cool, huh? I think if you're looking to create websites for clients, this could really save you some time. Let me know what you think in the comments. I do read all the comments that I get. I'd love to hear from you. So yeah, leave me a comment and I'll try to reply to as many as I possibly can. Make sure you subscribed and yeah, help me out by clicking the like button. Really appreciate that. But until next time, good luck with your sites. See you later.